Today we're going to perform an advanced search in ECF. Um, if I wanted to see more of the advanced search screen or any screen in ECF, I do have the ability to collapse the side menu by using the uh, toggle hide open side nav button. So if I select that, my focus is strictly on the page that I'm on, which is advanced search. I do have a side filter. You'll notice in ECF there are tables and many of the tables have a side filter. This is the button that will collapse the side filter. So if I select this, my side filter goes away. If I select it again, the side filter is back and I can make selections um, for the type of information that I am looking for in this side filter. So with ECF, you can perform two main types of searches. Um, the search type defaults to case, but if I wanted to change that to document, I can change that to document. I'm gonna go ahead and perform a case search, and there's different types of uh, information that you can search for a case by or a document. Uh, there is a general section, which is high level type information like a case number, an order number, the filing date. The uh, filing date can be a date range. Um, we can look for uh, cases that are active or closed. Uh, I could perform a search by name if I have a particular party name that I want to find cases by. Um, I can also narrow that search by party type. So if I wanted to find uh, a name and only find them as the applicant or only find them as the respondent, so forth. Um, I can also search by location. So whether that's an Oklahoma City or a Tulsa case, um, then I can get down into the division, docket type, and relief type. All those options to search are in the general category. And then we have a couple of other division specific or program area specific uh, sections um, for oil and gas and for petroleum storage tank. Um, additional search options may be added to ECF later on, um, but as of now, these are the search parameters that you have the ability to use. So I'm going to perform a search for a case by the division docket type. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the program area, which will be public utility. And then I'm gonna select the docket type, which will be PUD. Um, with PUD docket type, we also have the utility type. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for an electric case. And then again, not all of these are required. I'm just looking for more and more specific information. So if I stopped here and I perform my search, this is going to give me all of the PUD cases uh, that are on the PUD docket that are the electric utility type. Um, if I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add in that filter for the relief type, I can select the relief filter and then select the relief that I want to be able to search by and then click search and it will limit the results to those parameters. Um, so I can get uh, as detailed as I want to be able to perform the search to limit the number of records that are returned. Um, so you can see that I've got some results um, by that search. Uh, if I want to go ahead and at this point collapse my side filter, I could do that so I could see more of that table information. And I can see the case number, the program area, the docket code, the case name, the relief type, the location, the filing date, and the status. You'll notice that whenever I presented with this list that on the far right, I have an action, and that is to be able to subscribe or unsubscribe if I've already subscribed to this case. Um, the subscription of uh, to a case is separate, completely separate from the service list or parties list to a case. If I'm just an interested party, I want to follow the activity that happens in this case, I can subscribe to the ECF uh, notifications. I must be a registered ECF user, um, so I must have an ECF an account, and uh, in that account, you are going to be using your email address uh, to register. Uh, that email would be sent notifications to any uh, case that you subscribe to the notifications for. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to unsubscribe to this one, because with the account that I'm logged in as, they are a subscriber, I could select unsubscribe from here. 
or I could select subscribe if I have an interest in this case. Um, so you'll notice that uh, the case number, it is a hot link. If I select that hot link, it's going to open a separate tab and navigate to that case. And I'm presented with the uh, information about that case, the details, the service list, the docket tab events to find additional information that I may be uh, interested in um, regarding that case. This is an example of a case that has um, some hearings that have been set. So you could see the date and time of those hearings, the hearing type, the location, the room that that is in, a description of that. If there has already been an ALJ or a judge assigned to that, um, there's court reporters. And if the hearing has already happened and there's been a result entered, I can see the results information would appear here as well. So that is the advanced search for a case. I'm going to go ahead and bring my side filter back and I'm going to change the search um, to a document search. So if I use that drop down and I select document, I can search for documents um, that includes all documents, including order types. That's the default document type search. Or if I use the little toggle here, I can search for orders only. If I search for orders only as a document search, it adds that additional order number parameter. If I untoggle that um, and include order types, uh, it's going to include all documents. So again, I'm going to perform a search by the program area, public utility, by the docket type, PUD, by the utility type, of electric. Again, I'm going to go ahead and search with that parameter and I would see the list of results. And whenever I do that, you can see the total number of records returned. If this is too many records, I wanted to further filter my results. I can open that side filter back up and I can select um, the uh, relief type if that's an additional parameter that may help me to narrow down my search and do that perform my search. Um, it's limited my results to the 14 documents in this instance. Uh, in this table, I can see the case number, um, the case name, the document type, the date that that document was filed. If that document has a title, the uh, view column is a link to the document. Um, if the document is an order in this uh, order column, you would see the order number, the order type, the order title, um, if there is an effective date or an expiration date for those orders. Notice that with this results um, table that I have uh, more than one page. So if I needed to go to the next page, I could use a little navigation in the bottom right to be able to navigate to see the additional documents that are returned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select one of these documents. It's going to open the document. And from here, I can see the document, I can download the document, I can do control P to print the document. If I go back to the search table, if I wanted to open the case that this document is in, I can select the hot link to the case. Again, that's gonna open a separate tab. It's gonna take me into the case where I can look at additional information like the service list, the docket, and so forth. So that is performing advanced search in electronic case filing or ECF. Thank you.